Hay is grass, legumes, or other herbaceous plants that have been cut and dried to be used as animal fodder, particularly for large grazing animals raised as livestock, such as cattle, horses, goats, and sheep. Hay is often substituted as fodder when there is not enough pasture or rangeland for livestock to graze on, when grazing is not feasible due to weather restrictions, or when lush pasture by itself would be too rich for the health of the animal. Unlike straw, hay is specifically grown for the purpose of animal fodder, whereas straw is a byproduct of cereal grains after they have been harvested and stripped of their grain. Hay is sometimes cut pre-bloom so that it is harvested to give peak nutrition to the animals it will feed. Straw is more often used as animal bedding or as a source of dietary fiber. Commonly used plants for hay include a mixture of grasses, such as ryegrass, and may also include legumes, such as alfalfa and clovers. The biggest challenge and risk for farmers in producing hay crops is the weather, especially the weather of the particular few weeks when the plants are at the best age or maturity for hay. This is reflected in the idiom, to make hay while the sun shines. Hay harvesting involves cutting, drying, raking, processing, and storing. The tall grass and legumes are cut, then allowed to dry in the sun, so that the bulk of the moisture is removed, but the leafy material is still robust enough to be picked up from the ground by machinery and processed into bales and stacks. The cut plants are raked periodically to allow them to dry evenly. If the hay is too wet at cutting, or if it becomes wet in storage, mold and spoilage will reduce nutritional value and may cause illness in animals. Next, the dry hay is gathered up into haystacks or into bales using a machine called a baler. The bales or haystacks are then left in a barn or shed to protect them from moisture and rot. Farmer's lung, induced by the inhalation of biologic dusts coming from hay dust, mold spores, or other agricultural products. Exposure to hay can also trigger allergic rhinitis, known commonly as hay fever which affects people who are hypersensitive to airborne allergens. Hay baled before it is fully dry can produce enough heat to start a spontaneous fire. This heat comes from the bacterial fermentation of the wet grass. Bales can weigh over 450 kilos, and due to this immense weight and easily rolled cylindrical shape, hay can cause a number of injuries, including death. 